everybody, this is 20 plus lies that parents tell their children. Be sure not to watch this with your kids around. Hey, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see who commenter of the day is. The first lie we're starting this video out with is Santa is watching you. I gave this a 4 out of 5 on the level of wrongness. The reason for ranking this is first, we only say this when our kids are acting like little stinkers and need an attitude adjustment. More importantly, this lie leads to us giving them a bunch of presents. When you're older, people just lie to you. They don't give you a bunch of awesome stuff because of it. If you eat your vegetables, you'll grow up big and strong. I gave this a one out of five on a level of wrongness. I ranked this one because we all know genetics are 95% responsible for how tall we end up being. But veggies are such an important part of everyone's diet. If this little white lie means that they get important nutrients, then we shouldn't feel too bad. Hey kids, it's bedtime said 30 minutes before bedtime. I gave this a two out of five on the level of wrongness. So what's the big crime here? That we made our kids get more sleep? Please, someday they'll dream of getting extra sleep when they have their own little kids running around. We're almost there. I gave this a two out of five on the level of wrongness. What are we supposed to do? tell our kids just four and a half hours left <sighs> every parent has been stuck with a whiny kid on a long car ride and in those instances this lie could almost be described as humane almost if you keep making that face it's gonna stay that way i gave this a three out of five on a level of wrongness scale maybe their faces won't freeze that way but Come on, they can't keep making that face forever. If saying this gets them to stop, I say no harm, no foul. I don't know. I gave this a four out of five on a level of wrongness scale. I get it. Kids ask lots and lots of questions, but they're only trying to learn about their world. Encouraging their inquisitiveness is probably what we should do if we want a chance at a world's number one parent mug. You know, instead of shooting them down because we don't want to deal with it. We'll see. We'll just have to see what happens. I gave this a five out of five on the level of wrongness scale. We all say this just as our parents did, but we all know we'll see is French for not gonna happen. Why not just say no, hmm, mom? Why not just say no? Come on, let's go. We'll come back another day. Come on. Seriously, this gets a four out of five on a level of wrongness scale. Let's cut the bowl. We all know that we're never coming back, or at least not for a very long time. This lie may quiet a kid's grumbling for a minute, but it also gives them false hope, which leads to much more grumbling later. Seriously? I would have never done that when I was your age. This gets a five out of five on the level of wrongness scale. Letting our kids think that we're perfect back in the day when in reality, we were undoubtedly just as frustrating. We'll soon be telling stories of walking uphill in the snow both ways to get to school. Oh sweetie, the dog went to go live on a farm. This gets a five out of five on the level of wrongness scale. A dog is part of the family. Our kids deserve to know the truth, even if it isn't easy. We wouldn't tell them their grandma went to live on a farm, would we? I'm sorry, I don't know where your toy is. You must have lost it. This gets a six out of five on the level of wrongness scale. Throwing out or hiding our children's toys and then making them think it was their fault it went missing has got to mess with a kid's head especially when they spend the next couple of days looking for it. Oh, you can do this, sweetie. It's not gonna hurt a bit, I promise. This gets a five out of five on the level of wrongness scale. Mm -hmm. We promise our kids the needle won't hurt, but then two seconds later, it does a lot. This only makes them incredibly distrustful of not just us, but doctors in general, for shame. Hey, come on, let's go. No, I'm leaving without you. I am so guilty of this one. But it gets a four out of five on a level of wrongness scale. Convincing our kids we're going to abandon them? That's pretty messed up, especially when our kids come running after us in tears. 
when you lie, I always know because a red spot's gonna appear right on your forehead. This gets a three out of five on the level of wrongness scale. If your kids believe you on this one, then it's pretty genius when they fib and put their hand on their forehead to hide the red spot they think will appear there. I'm sorry, the TV only works when it's raining. This just gets a little one out of five on the level of wrongness scale. How bad can this lie really be when studies say for every hour of TV watched, removes 22 minutes of your life. We just want our kids to live long and happy lives. Just so you know, the internet lady turns off the internet every night at 6 p.m. This gets three out of five on the level of wrongness scale. An internet lady? Really? I guess if you're that desperate for some one-on-one -on -one with your kids, why not just use some clear communication and plan activities they could enjoy doing together? Just so you know, ice cream trucks are driven by evil clowns. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This gets a six out of five on the level of wrongness scale. This is just mean. This would have worked so well for me. What's the big deal? They just wanted a cool tree after playing so hard on a really hot day. Hey, if you sit too close to the TV, you're gonna go blind. Scoot back. How many of you have used this lie? It gets a three out of five on the level of wrongness. So why don't we want them sitting too close to the TV? I just don't understand it. <laughs> The American Academy of Ophthalmology says that kids can actually focus up close better without eye strain than adults can. So they often develop the habit of sitting right in front of the television or holding material close to their eyes. So 7-Eleven is actually only open from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And 7 p.m. is way too late for Slurpee. This gets a one out of five on the level of wrongness scale. <laughs> really? This one's just kind of clever. <laughs> that is it for this week's video. Do you agree with these rankings? Leave a comment down below and share a lie that you use on your kids or a lie that you remember your parents using on you. You could have a chance to be commenter of the day in my next video. It's time for commenter of the day. Thank you so much for your comment last week. You are so awesome. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.